Did you know that the, the Cisco ASA firewall contains a SCP server? SCP is a secure copy protocol that uses SSH for transport. You can compare it with the FTP, but it is uh, encrypted and uh, more secure. And you can enable the SCP server in the firewall to temporarily transfer files to and from the firewall flash. You enable the SCP server with the command SSH scopy enable. This requires that you already have a fully working SSH connection to the firewall. So you need to have SSH enabled by creating crypto keys and enabling which devices should allow SSH and so on. As soon as you have that, you only add the SSH scopy enable command in the firewall. And by adding that command, you have enabled the SCP uh, file server in the firewall. Let's try to copy a file from my uh, machine here over to the firewall. I use the SCP command. I copy the test file.txt to my host and I start by defini defining the username for SSH and the username in this case is Cisco and I specify at and an IP address, the IP address of the firewall. In most cases when you use SCP you could add a directory name here and a file name but the Cisco ASA firewall scopy server does not support subdirectories so you need to copy files to the root of the flash and if you want to copy files from the firewall they need to be in the root of the flash. So in this case I just end with a colon and I enter the uh, password for the Cisco username and the file is transferred and we can have a look at the flash in the flash here and we have the test file.txt and it's there. Okay, so it's the same file. I can also transfer files in the other direction. I can use SCP to retrieve files from the firewall by specifying the same syntax. Again, Cisco at the IP address. And Cisco here is the SSH username created in the local firewall. Colon, and then I take, yeah, let's take this file here and I copy it to the current directory of the machine. And it takes a few seconds and uh, the file is here in the local machine. When you're done, I recommend you to turn the file server off with the no SSH scopy enable command. And never forget, write mem.